All right, guys, so this is uh, a video I've been meaning to do for quite some time, and um, I finally figured out how to do it, how to get this particular game to run under Linux. So the goal of this video is to show you how to get Trove to run in Linux. And uh, I tried this about a year ago, honestly, and I messed around with Wine for a little while, and I just couldn't get the customization of the configuration right to get the game to work. So um, it was kind of frustrating. I don't really know a ton about Wine, to be honest with you, but I think there were other components that were missing. Um, as part of that configuration for the reason why I couldn't get Trove to work. Either way, um, I made some video recently about Arc Survival Linux versus uh, Windows gameplay, and I wanted to show like the comparison of the, the Linux native, Steam native Linux um, client versus running Arc on Windows. And if you watch that video, you could see that there were significant differences. The Arc instance in Linux was pretty poor comparison to the performance that you got out of Windows. Now, somebody commented down in the video here and said, hey, have you tried running the Windows version through Proton on Linux? And I've never heard of Proton on Linux. So I did a quick Google of that. And Proton is um, is something, I guess, that was released by Valve Software. It says right here, a new tool released by Valve. And it comprises of Wine and DXVK, which I think is this Vulcan thing that, that this guy was commenting about. And basically what they're doing is they're they're documenting the configuration required to make these games, these Windows native games, work fine in uh, Linux. And um, so that's actually really cool. So you can literally just use the Proton configuration from Steam and hope for the best. Some of the games I don't think will work perfectly. Other games I think will work really well. In my case for Trove, it works exceptionally well, to be honest with you. And it is so easy to get it working. So... Um, I'm running Ubuntu 18.04. Uh, yes, I'm not on the latest. I get it. It's been released a couple months ago, but uh, it's still just haven't upgraded. Anyhow, so um, I like Trove. I play this occasionally, and this is literally how easy it is to get it to work. So you show you get Trove in your list in Steam. Click the little gear here. You go to Properties, and you literally say Force the use of a specific Steam Play compatibility tool. You're going to drop down, check that box, drop down the list, and choose Proton 5.0. So the, whatever the latest version of Proton is, that's the one I want to use. So I'm going to choose that, hit close, and um, I've already installed it. But what you'll do is just click the Install button, go ahead and do the installation, and uh, that's basically it. It'll finalize the installation, go ahead and hit the Play button, and it will literally load up. Surprise, surprise, that simple. Um, obviously, once you've loaded up, you're going to log in. Um, and then inst uh, update Trove or whatever it is that you can do, and then you hit the play button. And it's literally that easy. So this is what was surprising to me as well, was that the performance of it is really good. And that wasn't something that I was necessarily expecting because I haven't had a great experience with gaming. I mean, it's like a decent experience, right? It's not been one of those experiences of gaming in Linux that's just awesome. You don't, When you think of a high-performing gaming system, it's typically a Windows environment. But um, this, this Proton does a really, really good job. To be honest with you, it's like surprisingly well. I was completely shocked. And I'm willing to play it if it's a little bit gimp. You know, maybe if it jitters here and there. I don't even know if this jitters here and there. I mean, the performance is like just simply outstanding. And um, I, I just, I can't, I can't, I just literally can't iterate enough on how amazing it looks. I mean, you can see the performance is like, there's, there's literally no delays in the game. The performance of loading is the same. The performance of playing the game is the same. Uh, there really isn't any reason why you would, if you're going to play Trove and you've really just wanted to play on Linux instead, I don't think there's any reason at this point why you would want to just install Windows in one game. Sorry about that. So basically that's all I wanted to show you guys was how easy it is to get a Windows game like Trove that, that normally would not run very well in Linux um, to run just like that easily. It's not even like you have to do any configuration. They've already got it done for you. So uh, I personally think that Microsoft might want to pay attention to Proton, step up their game or something. Um, my personal opinion was that Windows 10 when it first came out was uh, forced down everybody's throats. I didn't really like it which um, spurred some interest for me, again, into getting more into Linux. Not, not a, in, in, from a desktop perspective, right? Not necessarily just from a server. So I'm an IT guy, so I deal a lot with, with technology anyways. And Linux is a very common operating system for servers. But 
In the desktop world, Windows has really just been the winner with Mac being on the sidelines somewhere and uh, Linux like way out there for just the crazy people like me that might want to try it. But you know what? When you got things like this, this the performance in this is just outstanding. Um, you, you know, I think you should give it a try. So go ahead and if you've never ran anything like Trove in Linux or other games, um, go ahead to get the Steam client running and do that same setting for the other games. Set that set that uh, Steam Play configuration to Proton and see if the game works well under Linux. So anyhow, that's going to be it for this video. I appreciate uh, the comment again on my YouTube video uh, for the idea to use Proton. And my next video, I'm going to try to do Proton and Arc and see how that performs. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you later.